part of the paradise situation is that everybody is actually doing what their mission is. And their mission is always different for each individual person. Somebody's mission might be, you know, to be the best carpenter ever. Somebody might be the best, be the best mom ever. Somebody might be the best teacher ever, second grade teacher. Somebody might be the best food grower ever. Somebody might be the best um, horticulturalist ever. You know, that might be their goal. And each person who's incarnated on this planet, each soul, has a unique mission that is unique to that person. So when everybody is accomplishing their goal and their mission, what will in inevitably happen is that we will be turned immediately into paradise. Because when we're not in our mission, when we're doing a false identity, then we're in stress, we're in pain, we're reaching for food that's not good for us, we're frustrated, we're angry, we're stressed out. All of that stuff is related to not doing what you love every day. So we gotta get on to doing what we love every day. The picture of what it looks like on the earth itself is fruit trees everywhere in massive abundance for everybody, super foods and super herbs in, in abundance for everybody, all grown with ormus, fragrances and herbage in people's homes so that when you walk into someone's homes, you're wafted with the most glorious scents of lavender, sage, and other similar, Yerba Santa and other great um, aromatic herbs. All houses are constructed out of recycled materials that have been pulled out of landfills. We've taken all nuclear waste and we've launched it either to the center of the sun or imploded it with uh, Brown's gas or something like that and gotten rid of it. We've used fungi to clean up all the oil spills and all the petroleum messes that have ever happened. We use fungi to clean up landfills. We use the, the technology of using spores and fungi to, clean, to remediate pesticide sprayed land because the fungi and spores from the fungi, the medicinal mushrooms, can actually eat up the petrochemicals and convert them into nutrients. We can definitely see that all our oceans would be completely pure, totally pristine and clean. There would be no more um, radical uh, corporations who are like a chicken with their head cut off, just running around like crazy, destroying everything in sight. That would all disappear. We would end up in a situation where everybody would be um, somewhat agrarian, connected to the food they're growing and living on. All Ormus technologies would be available to everybody to grow the best food ever. Pure water for every being and the rest restoration of pure water for everybody on earth. Um, we would be in a situation also where the population would be, you know, maybe we'd have to get into a situation where, hey, you can't have 18 kids, you know, you, maybe three, two or three or something like that, so that we don't overpopulate ourselves and, and, you know, get into the similar mess we're in today. And then we would obviously get off the spontaneous combustion engine and go completely to solar, wind, and or zero point free energy technologies so we're not spewing all kinds of gunk into the atmosphere. We would come completely off fire, so we wouldn't need fire anymore to keep, cook our food and do all that kind of stuff because cooking is just a complete waste of resources and time and actually turns our food into poison in most cases. In addition to all of that, we would get into uh, remediating and purifying all the air on the planet Earth by restoring the natural balance of the atmosphere by stopping chemtrails and nuclear explosions in the atmosphere and the use of depleted uranium. All nuclear weapons would be completely banned on the earth and be, would be eradicated and either launched into the center of the sun or taken away or something. We got to get rid of all nuclear weapons completely. Um, we would have to er eradicate and ban all wars. Actually, there would be no wars at that point anyway because all wars are really caused by centralized banking. Once we got rid of centralized banking, there would be no reason for any wars to be happening and that would all disappear. The military industrial complexes of the world would convert all their efforts into planting fruit trees on every road and on every um, on every stretch of land that had been mowed down for um, cities or mowed down for um, growing wheat or so, you know, something that was irrelevant. So we'd replant fruit trees across the entire earth using the power of all the world's militaries. Instead of drop down and give me 20 push-ups, it's drop down and plant 20 fruit trees. We'd go into that, that role. We would get into a situation between beings where before anything would break down into like, you know, some kind of cataclysmic, you know, fight, war, whatever, that communication and mediation would be the first step. And it'd probably be important to all get onto one language so that we could all communicate with each other because lack of communication seems to be at the real core of almost every problem. And probably at this point, it's probably going to be English because English is so widespread on the planet and the internet language has, is English. That, that's probably a, a big factor as well. The internet would become a, 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 a ground for all scientific information, all film, data, media to be available for everyone for free. 
and that's going it's going that way anyway. So everybody would be able to get all that stuff for free, and we'd have to come off the um, the whole money system as we know it, where everybody's just trying to climb over each other to get more money for what? For more trash in the oceans, you know that kind of thing. So we just get out of that complete aberration or miasm and drop it. Each being would be responsible for their own health. So we'd get completely out of this whole idea of government sponsored health and each person is alone responsible for their own health. All pesticides, herbicides, larvicides, fungicides, artificial fertilizers would be banned from the earth forever. That would just That's a complete disaster, it's the worst thing ever. And, you know, thank God that's over with. And uh, we would finally come to a place where each person in their own life would be experiencing peace and bliss most of the time and actually wanting to be here. And the reason why we have chaos and disease and despair is because a lot of people don't even want to be here. So they just want to blow other people up and get out of here. And we would get out of that so people would actually want to be incarnated on earth and we'd get into a religious state or a spiritual state where there's not heaven over there somewhere because we have all these religions that say heaven's over there and hell's right you know, under here because the, it is like that right now. You, people are in such pain that they want heaven to be far away from here. But in fact, really heaven is right here right now and hell is right here right now. So we'd get out of this like, you know, religious idea that we're going to ascend, right, over there. But in fact, we would incend and stay right here because this is where we want to be because this is actually paradise finally. And we're going to get there. We will eventually get there. Um, some of us will be drag kicking and streaming. Some of us will be stoked to get there soon.